far off places through the pages of a book, but there are those of us who prefer to visit in London, whether it be through a rabbit hole or with a little pixie dust. And sometimes we can find the journey to be quite menacing. But don't worry, though it appears we are passing through the generous of Mont's Road Rail, the same rail who swallowed Pinocchio, we are really being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. And like all good stories do, all it starts with once upon a time, and with a big bad wolf. He moved in the cave coming up when I left, and he's always after those three little pigs. But luckily for them, they live across the way in those three houses. One made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of guaranteed bulletproof bricks. Now things are about to take a strange turn as just around the corner is the quaint English village, which is home to Alice. One golden afternoon, she followed the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, down, down into Wonderland. And things only got curiouser and curiouser from there. Well, here in London, we're going to take a quick stop and let this house to our right. This is the very same park that Peter Pan flew over with John, Wendy, and Michael Darling as they fell off the second star of the right and straight on to wanting to never land with the help of Tinkerbell's pixie dust. All of the places here in Storybook Land are quite magical, such as the city of Agrabah straight ahead. This is where Ashley got named Aladdin for stumbled into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. Though so the two came from different worlds, with the power of love and the hope of a genie, they are now married and live in the Sultan's Palace to our right. But before that, they took a magic hover ride to a whole new world. Doors over, sideways, and under, the twinkling archways above us. Now, while all of the places here in Storybook Land are quite magical, some are also rather mysterious, such as the Cave of Wonders straight ahead. It is said that the treasure bears a curse which can only be lifted by the genie who lives in the lamp, and rumor has it, whoever sets the genie free will be granted three wishes. Now let's all make a wish and see if it comes true. Eddie, Eddie grab that. <laughs> Snow White wished to be free from the evil queen, and she found shelter in the cottage to her right, which is home to the seven dwarves. They offered her protection in return for her kindness, and if you listen carefully, you just might hear them whistle while they work. Now yeah. Cinderella wished to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother forbade it. Luckily for her, her fairy got the whole grant to that wish, but when she did not return home by midnight, the parents showed not to do a pumpkin, and it still just found the bitch to our left. No matter how the limits, love does not. Cinderella now lives in the palace at the top of the hill with her prince. Road, 